Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to Natural. Today is part two of last week's fall capsule looks. I pulled 30 looks and in last week's video, I actually reviewed 10 of them. And there was a little bonus, that Margiela H&M collar, which was just divine. In today's video, I will be reviewing the remaining 20 pieces. So without further ado, let's get to today's video, friends. So guys, this is another Zara goodie. When I saw this at Zara, I thought it was like so Ralph Lauren-esque inspired. It is a gorgeous wool sweater. I love the buttons. I even thought that maybe it was a men's sweater that was wrongly placed in the women's department, but it wasn't. No one was looking at this sweater. Everyone was overlooking it, and I was just in complete awe because I couldn't understand why this sweater was just on its own, abandoned, no one was paying it any mind. I made my way over to the sweater and I kind of did it on the slide because I've noticed that when I start to look or give eye contact to an actual piece, I don't know, it kind of draws attention and others flock to the piece. I don't know if that's happened to you. If it has, please share in the comments below. So what I try to do is not even give it any energy, not look at it to sort of detract from where I'm heading. This is such a great sweater. I would wear it like I'm wearing mine, scrunched up. I love the buttons. I love where it hits. It's a long sweater and I love this neck. So classic. I love the colors. If I wanted to wear with the leopard print, I can. I love this. Think outside the box. Don't be afraid of mixing the browns. The key is to ground it. If you're going to wear a piece that has this much print on top and you're going to experiment with a leopard, make sure it's a solid underneath. I don't look at leopard print as a clashing print. For me, it's a neutral. Same thing with the color red. This Philip Lim cape I had to bring out because it was so different than your average cape. And I also love that it was in this camel color. I love the buttons. I love the detail. I even like the tie on the side. You can wear jeans, tights. You can wear a boot. You can wear a booty. You can even dress this down the way that I would do. It would probably be the clog mule shoe with some shearling. I like that look. I'll post some pictures here for some ideas and inspiration. Look at this, guys. The reason that this piece made the cut is because it's so easy. I would definitely wear like a chocolate brown or a black turtleneck, fit it. It's such a sleek, clean look, and then throw this on top. For a more funkier look that's a little bit more street style, I would even wear a button-down shirt underneath this with a huge collar, pop the collar. This is a key piece. I love that it has pockets. I love the length of this piece. This is a Zara piece that is easy to build upon. And any sweater that has this sort of oversized look, a must, and it'll stay with you for years to come. So friends, this is a classic piece. It's an extra small from J. Crew Collection. I've had this piece for seven, eight years. I wanted to bring her out to show you how a classic camel wool cape with some toggle closure and zipper just stands the test of time. It has a removable hood and it has this pop collar that I love. Now, this is an extra small, so I don't know if it still fits me. I think I'm more of a small now. If it doesn't fit, I'll be selling this. If you're interested, please feel free to DM me at Natural. I also post on Poshmark at Stylish Bella. This is another Argyle sweater must. And this is such a beautiful blue and it has a terracotta brown with white and black. I just love this. And similarly to this Argyle sweater, I bought two. I bought it in a small and I bought it in a medium. This one happens to be a size small, so I will be selling the medium. 
if you're interested, please DM me at Natural. I would wear this with these knitted chocolate brown sweats, or I would wear it with the sweatpants that are not knit, but also will go well with it. This blue goes very well with the cream. So I didn't just want to do a monochromatic camel and beige and cream and chocolate brown. I wanted to play with some blues and even navy. So now I'm going to go to some pieces that I just think are special. This is a Zara knit size small. Again, an oldie but goodie. It's the detail for me and it actually is stunning. I love this. And this is a piece that I would have for a very long time. It's just a beautiful work of art for me. And it's not like anything that you normally see at Zara. Love this. Friends, look at this piece here. This is a J. Crew collection goodie. Look at this, it's just divine. Only Jenna Lyons would come up with something like this. Now this is a piece that I again would rather wear with a boot. Do you guys see how good that looks? It's a solid and then the leopard print at the bottom. I love this. I love the J. Crew collection pieces, so I have to throw them in whenever I can. Here's another Zara goodie. This is a piece that I got, I think it was last year, and what I loved about this was the peak of skin of the shoulders. I also love the heather gray and the turtleneck. This is so good. It's so easy to wear jeans with this, leggings, a skirt, tuck it in the way I have it tucked, some cargo pants, some khakis, so much you can do with this. I had to include a knit dress, another Zara goodie. Do you guys see the detail of this? I love this. So much you can do with this. You can wear a nice necklace. You can have a funky vest. It's a knit dress. Look at the detail, the blue sock sleeves, and it has this built-in tie waist. Another Zara goodie. This was $69.90. This is an amazing sweater. This hanger does zero justice to it. I also don't like to hang my sweaters. I fold them, but for this video, I did hang them to showcase them. This has an amazing sleeve. It's a navy. It's so luxurious. This knit is not cheap. It's thick. I love this. It's a size small Zara knit. Highly recommend. I will link similar ones in the description below. So friends, this is a Zara goodie that I got last year. Do you guys see this? It's just dreamy. So this is a boucle long vest with hidden buttons and a tie belt. This is my go-to piece. I can just have on some workout clothes or some nice knit jeans and a t-shirt or sweatshirt, throw this on, the look is elevated. It's just stunning, guys. And I normally don't gravitate towards black, but I do not mind this piece in black. I do wish it came in like a taupe color. I love this piece. And it looks like it's shirling, but it's not. It's like this faux boucle, but it's great quality and I got this in a size small because it's a bit oversized but I love that it comes with the tie belt and pockets. I had to have a showstopper. This is a sequence dress from Zara. Another one of those limited edition dresses but I had to share this. This is a size medium because you'll see that this was originally $149 and do you see how much I paid for this? <laughs> I paid $12.99 for this, guys, and I was just in complete awe. It's missing the button in the back, and I was like, really, I can get that buttoned. It has a built-in slip dress. It's just stunning. There's so much you can do with this. I would definitely take this down a notch by dressing it down with the footwear, and I would even think about wearing a vest that's cropped to kind of cut the dimension and dress down the sequence a bit. But I also would wear it just like this. So I just wanted to share a few ideas as how to dress it down. I just think it's an exquisite piece and I really got lucky because I paid $12.99 for this dress that originally retailed for $1.49. So friends, these are hikers from Uncloud. I love these, it's a Swiss brand. They make the best running sneakers, trail hikers. I love them. 
They're super comfortable. Your feet do feel like they're literally walking on clouds. If I don't wanna wear sneakers or I don't wanna wear a clog or dress it down, I still feel stylish when I throw these on. It's so good. I do own about four pairs. Two are sneakers and two happen to be track boots like these. These J. Crew sequins flat booties. I love these. These are J. Crew collection. I actually got these at a sample sale. I was in complete awe because these are so good. But this is a fun way to add some sequins to a basic look and elevate the look. I love to have fun with the footwear and vests and accessories. I love this. Now, last but not least, my friends, are these gorgeous Brunello Cuccinelli shoes. I actually wore them once to a friend's wedding. They're stunning. They're so comfortable. I don't know if you can see the quality. It is stunning. And let me just show you. Look at this. It's just stunning. I, I can't even say anything. But I love shoes like this with some beautiful knits. If I wanted to wear a nice slack with a gorgeous sweater or button down shirt and tuck it in, I love this. I can even throw on a blazer and I'm done. And this final piece is a vintage hat that I've had for about 15 to 18 years. I wore this because I love it and it definitely makes me feel like I've elevated my look even a little bit more. So friends, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to sound off in the comments below. Give me your thoughts, your feedback. I love it when you chime in and we engage in the comment section. I wanna thank you for doing that. It means a lot. For those of you that are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you love all things style, fashion, and lifestyle through the lens of joy and delight. Until next time, my friends, toodles.